All righty, guys. Warm up it is. 30 jumping jacks whenever you guys are ready. Thirty thirty. then grab your foot towels. We'll go through our mobility. Either end of your sweat towel, let's do five halos around to the right, five halos around to the left. Opening up your chest and shoulders, take your time. Want to be nice and warm before we get going with this tonight. And once you get your five and five, bring that towel on the back side. Keep opening up the chest and shoulders. We're gonna go into our hinges, feet nice and close, knees unlocked, bowing forward, coming to standing. Let's do three more. All righty. Four part squat. So take those feet a little bit wider. Toes point out to the side. First part, reach down for those toes. Bend at your knees. Drop your hips as low as you feel like going right now. Arms overhead. Come to standing. Four more of those. Taking your time. Open up your hips at the bottom. Arms overhead and standing. And breathe. And once you get your five coming up to standing, bring those feet right back in underneath your hips. We're gonna do our mummy stretch. So coming to the right side of the foot, hanging forward to the left side, rolling it on up. We're gonna do three each side. Round your back as much as you like here. Once you get that three reverse, Keep your eyes open so you're not getting dizzy. All righty, once you get your three and your three, you can set your towel down off to the side. We're gonna go into our runners and our side stretches. So let's do runner stretch first. So big wide lunge stance. Remember this one back heel is gonna come up. You can lunge low and keep your hands on your thigh if you like. You can put them on a chair or you can bring them down to the ground. Drop that hip flexor and just move around here. A couple breaths. You can bend and extend that front leg. You can drop your knee, pick it up. Whatever feels good, just moving through that motion, opening up that hip, trying to drop that hip down towards the ground, keeping that chest up. One more breath here. And then carefully bring your feet together. We're just switching sides. We just switch directions, opposite foot forward, opposite foot back. Find that nice wide lunge stance first, and then dropping that hip, either coming to your thigh, coming to the ground, whatever feels good. And then just moving around. Try to keep the front heel down. Back leg can kind of bend and extend if you like. Couple breaths. One more breath. And then when you're ready, same thing. Bring your feet together. Slowly come on up. And we're going to do the same thing with our side lunges. Come to one side of your mat. Big wide side lunge stance. You can either be up high here, feel that stretch in your inner thigh, or if you want to drop it lower, you can. Just keep that bent leg, that heel on the ground. And move that other leg around if you'd like. You're really just trying to feel that in the inner thigh now. Couple breaths. 
all nice and loose. All right, we're gonna just switch over to the opposite side. Same thing, if you need to modify one side versus the other, that's fine. I'm just gonna take a couple breaths here. And then when you're ready, come to center and then slowly roll your way up. Walk those feet in a little closer. We're gonna do knees and ankles, but I wanna do a little bit more of your shoulders today too before we get going. So we're gonna do one and a half circles with your, um, with your arm circles. So what it looks like is we're gonna come forward around once and then through, that's one and a half, and then reverse back and through. So it kind of looks like this. Once you get going, your arm's just gonna swing. We're just trying to kind of warm up both directions. We're doing a lot of work, both upper body and lower body tonight. So I want those arms to be nice and warm too. Give me one more forward, one more back, and then just this side. Same thing. So you go around and forward, around and back. Don't try to control it too much. If it's confusing, just give me some sort of arm circle. It's fine. Everything is warmed and up. One more back, one more forward. And shake it on out. Gonna get on those knees. So bend knees, lean forward. Let's do our knees circle down around to the right. One more in reverse. Two more. And coming up to standing like that are our ankles. So point and flex with the right foot. And then circles around. And reverse that direction. Opposite side, we're going to point and flex the left foot. And circles. And switching your direction. All right, go ahead and shake it on out. All right, guys. So tonight, tonight is the 12 days of Christmas workout. That's the name of it. And it's very similar to how the song goes. So you guys are probably all familiar with the 12 days of Christmas, the holiday song. It builds, right? Each day of Christmas, you get a new gift. So tonight, it's going to be the 12 days of fitness. And instead of your true love, it's going to be your trainer gave to you. <laughs> so if you'd like to sing along, you can. What that means is we're doing 12 rounds tonight. Each round we're going to build. And instead of the number being a gift, the number is your repetitions, okay? So you've got 12 different exercises that we're going to end up doing tonight. Some you're going to do less of, some you're going to do more of. The ones that you're going to do less of are going to have higher repetitions. They're going to be our 10, 11, 12. And the ones that you're going to do more of are going to be the lower repetitions, the one, twos, and threes. Okay. So we're just going to build. I'm just going to give you one at a time. So I'm going to give you the new one and then we're going to make our way back. So we start at one, then we're going to add on two, and then we're going to add on three, so on and so forth. Okay. So starting with number one, our number one. So this one you're going to do 12 times tonight inchworm push-up okay so an inchworm push-up you're going to start at the very end of your mat you're going to reach for your toes you're going to bring your hands to the mat you're going to walk yourself out to a plank position you're just going to do one push-up you're going to walk your hands back you're going to roll it on up some tips for this if you are more inflexible and it's harder for you to get to the ground take your feet really wide the wider your feet are, the closer the ground is going to be to you, okay? If that's still impossible, if the inchworm part of this is, is horrible, what I want you to do is give me your hardest push-up that you can do just one time. So don't take the modification we normally do in class. Make it harder because you're only having to ever do one at any given time and then you get to do other things in between, okay? So, but if you'd like to go the inchworm push-up with me, we're reaching down for our toes, we're walking ourselves out, to our plank position. We're doing one good push up. We're walking our hands back. We're trying to keep our legs straight if we can. And we're rolling it on up. And just like that, 
Your first gift is given. One inchworm push-up. Moving on. Number two. This one is going to be dumbbell snatches. This is a two per side, okay? So you're gonna grab one weight. I'm grabbing kind of my medium weight. With your snatch, you're gonna dip with your legs. This one comes all the way up overhead. So it dips, you're gonna use that lower body to pull that weight all the way up and it ends in a locked out position overhead. You're gonna carefully bring it back down to your shoulder and then you're gonna dip again all the way up overhead down to your shoulder. We're gonna two on the right side, two on the left side. And then we're gonna do another inchworm push-up. So whenever you guys are ready, grab that one weight. We got in the right hand, we're dipping. Doing one snatch all the way up, back down to our shoulder, dip, second snatch, and down. And this one does have a two-sider. We have to make sure we get two on our right, two on our left. Full body movement to get that weight up. All right, those are our twos. Here's our partridge in the pear tree. Gotta go for our inchworm push-up or the hardest push-up you can give me. Just one. And roll it on up. All right, two down. We only have 10 to go. Things start to build. Our next round of threes are gonna be single leg deadlift, okay? So this is the part where you might need a chair or something for balance support if you normally use it for our one-legged exercise, but weight is in your right hand, you're gonna be standing on your left foot. Remember, you start with a toe on the ground. You're gonna reach down, and then you're gonna control back up. So remember, the back leg and the front arm are connected together. If you need to hold on to something, go ahead and do it. We're gonna do three on our one side, and then we're gonna flip around. So whenever you're ready, let's go for it. Three, slow and controlled single leg deadlift. On one side, I'm just gonna flip around. Once you guys get your three and your three, we got two snatches on either side. Whenever you're ready, dip, drive all the way up overhead. Dip, all the way up overhead, switch sides. Back to our twos. Remember the numbers always stay the same. We just add on every round. Last but not least, our inchworm push-up. Reach for your toes, walk it out the plank. One push-up. Walk it on back, roll it on up. Quick mini break for you guys to catch up. Alrighty, we're moving along. We've got fours. Fours are gonna be bicep curls. So you need two weights for this. Knees are on lock, shoulders are down. We're gonna do four bicep curls all the way up to our shoulders, controlling all the way down. Four repetitions total. If you have heavier weights at home, you might find that you're able to do some of these since they're lower repetitions with a heavier weight. Threes, if you forgot, those are our single leg deadlifts. So once you get those five bicep curls, five, I'm already skipping numbers. Four bicep curls, sorry. You're gonna give me three single leg deadlifts per side. Take your time. Once we get three single leg deadlifts per side, it's two snatches a side. As we add on, you might forget what the numbers are. It's okay, I have it written down in front of me. I'll remember, or I'll look at it. Two, and then our one inchworm push up. Come to that end of the mat, reach it on down for those feet, walk it out, hit that plank. One push up, walk it on back. Roll it on up. All right, guys. So we've made it to five. Our number is going to start to climb. Five is a tough round. Five is our burpee round, okay? You've got options for this, okay? You can do your standard burpee. I'll show you. Hands come down. You jump back. You come all the way down to the floor. You jump forward wide. You jump up in the air, okay? That's our traditional burpee. If you would like a modification for this, 
you can do a squat thrust. We do this a lot in class. Hands come down, you jump to planks. You just don't come to the floor. Jump forward, jump up. Or you can step back, right? Hands come down. We step, we step. That takes the jump out altogether. Make sure you hit plank. Step forward, step forward, stand. Um, and last but not least, you can always use a chair. So if you want to just raise the ground and do any of the modifications that I just showed, you can do it hands down to a chair, okay? But we have five of them. So whenever you're ready, give me five of whatever kind you'd like to do. First round of burpees. That's gonna be fun once we hit 12. All right, guys, once you get your, your five burpees, you got four bicep curls. Threes or single leg deadlifts. I'll kind of call out what's coming up. Remember, it's single leg deadlift per side. Take your time, find that balance, find that focal point. Twos are snatches per side, dip, drive all the way up overhead. Dip, drive up. And then an inchworm push up. Reach for those toes. Walk it on out. Give me a push up. Walk it on back. Roll it on up. And take a mini break. Grab some water. All right. Next up, we're on number six now. Six is a goblet squat. So two ways you can do this. You can take one heavy weight. If you've got a kettlebell, I like to hold it like this, like a true goblet, holding it at my chest when I do my squat. If you've got a weight, what I'm gonna suggest based on what number seven is, is to hold your weight like this, like with the dumbbell end to end, one heavy weight right in the middle of your chest, okay? If you don't have heavier weights, you could use two weights, that's an alternative too. But we're on number six, so we're weights up at our chest, heels toes pointed outwards, give me six, low squats. All right, once you guys get those six, five is burpees. Or squat thrust, do whatever modification you like. All right, fives are done. I'm moving on to fours. Fours are bicep curls. If you're a little behind me, that's fine. If you're a little ahead of me, that's fine. All right. Threes are your single leg deadlift. Take your time. See if you can lift that leg a little higher, drop that chest a little lower. It's only three. A lot of times we're doing 10 to 12 of these. Sometimes the benefit of breaking up into smaller reps is we really get to work on them at a harder capacity. Oop, I almost put my weight down. Choose or snatches. Good thing I have my whiteboard here reminding me what I'm supposed to be doing. Two, each side. Weight comes down. Then an inchworm push up. Walk it on out. Push it on up. Walk it on back. Roll it on up. 
May break here. All right, guys, so we've got six down. We've got six more rounds to go, but they're building, right? Repetitions are building. They're gonna get a little longer. Our next round, we're gonna do goblet push press. So I had you holding your dumbbell like that for a reason. It's because your seven is a push press, okay? So you're gonna hold that weight, either your kettlebell or your dumbbell. Your push press is a small bend in your knee. You're gonna use that bend to explode all the way up overhead. So you're kind of using a little bit of that lower body. So it's bending your knees like you're gonna jump, pushing that weight overhead, control it back down. Bend, explode, bend, explode. So we're gonna do seven of those. And then remember, goblet squats are six, so don't drop your weight. You're gonna need it right afterwards. All right, so whenever you're ready, we're going seven goblet push press. Then explode. And once you get your seven, you gotta do your six squats. After your six squats, that's when you can set that kettlebell or weight down. Five or burpees or squat thrust, whatever version that you're doing, you gotta give me a five. You get a little harder every round. Catch your breath, four other bicep curls. Grab both of those weights. Three is our single leg deadlift, first side. Take your time. Three each side. Two are your snatches. Remember, it's always okay if you're a little behind what I'm doing. And then the one, by now you guys know what one is, that push up. Walk it on out, walk it on up. Catch your breath. Like I said, if that inchworm part is getting really tough for you, just give me one hard push up. If you normally do them like elevated, maybe try it on your knees on the floor. Maybe if you normally do it on your knees, maybe try it on your toes. Whatever makes it challenging for you. All right. We got eights coming up. We're gonna grab those weights again. We need two weights for our eights. Eights are reverse lunges. These are each side as well. Like I said, it starts to get a little bit longer. So the, uh, the dumbbells are optional. If for your lunges, if you're really taxed with lunges without the weights, just drop the weights. But we're gonna do eight stepping back on our right. And then we're gonna do eight stepping back on our left. So reverse, we're stepping back keeping that chest up, bending that knee, pressing forward. Remember, it doesn't matter how low you go. Keep that chest up. Think about the knee positioning. Eight on one side, shake out the leg real quick. And then you're gonna be eight on the left side. Step it on back. Keep that chest up, big step. All right, guys, that's our eighth. If you don't remember seven, <laughs> it was push press. Grab that goblet, that single weight, 
seven push press, bend and explode. Four, seven. Once you get that seven, you're taking it into six deep squats. Once you guys get your six deep squats, I'm like already jerking over here. Five are burpees, those golden rings, those golden burpees for squat thrusts, however you guys are doing them, for five. Oh, that's such a good gift. Aren't you guys so grateful for those five golden burpees? Four bicep curls. Meant to just jack up your heart rate right in the middle of all of it. All right, guys, three single leg deadlifts per side. Remember, take your time. If you haven't practiced these not holding on to anything, now might be the time to try. See if you can do maybe even just one where either you're really light grip or you're not holding on at all. You might find you can do it. All right, that's three aside. Two are our snatches. One weight, dip and drive all the way up. Or two. And then set that weight down. You guys know what's coming. It's an inch one push up. Make it challenging. Reach for those toes. Walk it on out. Drop it down, walk it on back. And roll it on up. Whew. Checking out my heart rate here. Let it drop down a little bit. Nice work, guys. We're eight rounds in. Nines, we're ready for nines. Nines are bent over row. Do you need your two weights for this? Two weights, knees bent, leaning forward, flat back, roll those shoulders back down towards your, to your hip bones, drive those elbows back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Nine bent over rows. Whenever you're ready. When you reach your nine, come back to standing, but don't let go of those weights because we got eight reverse lunges aside that we got to do holding on to these weights. Let's get right after it. Eight each side, stepping back. Think about keeping that chest up. Take a moment in between those lunges. You can shake out the other side. Or give me eight on your second side. Once you guys reach your eight and your eight, you can set your two weights down, grab that one weight. We got seven push press, goblet push press, small bend in the knees, feet right underneath your hips. Bend and explode. Once you get that seven, feet come a little wider, toes out to the side, six squats. Dropping it down low. Oh, 
Oh man, we're back at burpees. So fast, those have come around. Five burpees. Remember, you can always step those if you need to. Use a chair if you need it. Modify however you need it in your workout. Four bicep curls. Inhale, exhale. Three are single leg deadlift. Taking our time. Maybe trying these without holding on. Never know until you try. Whew. And even when you get good at them, you still lose your balance, just so you know. It takes concentration even when you develop. Okay, balance. All right. Shoes or snatches. Dip and drive all the way up overhead. Come back down through that shoulder. And then switch. Two. Squeeze down. Inchworm push up coming up. Walk it on back. Roll it on up. Quick breather. Keep breath. Quick break. <laughs> Moving my words. Feels like the last couple years, it takes so much longer to get to them. The rounds are just becoming long. The days are becoming long. We're not at Christmas yet, but we are on day 10. And day 10 brings us 10 kettlebell swings or dumbbell. Whatever weight you have, remember in your swing, you're hiking it back, your knees are slightly unlocked, your chest is up. Stand up fast, okay? That's what's gonna drive that weight forward. Your arms are just kind of holding as attachments. Let it swing back, drive forward. 10 swings, and then your nine is bent over rows if you wanna know what's upcoming. So whenever you're ready, if you've caught your breath, let's go into our round 10, 10 swings. Ten. Once you get ten swings, you gotta grab another weight. You got nine bent over rows. Bend forward, drive those elbows back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Oh, I think I just did ten. Dang it. One accidental. That's okay. One extra rep won't kill me. Going into eight reverse lunges per side. I'll be very conscious counting on these reps though. Eight a side, remember the weights are optional. If you can do them, I encourage you to do them. Eight each side. Seven is goblet push press. So drop one of those weights or switch out your weight if you're using different sizes. We got seven push press, feet underneath your hips. Once you've done seven, Feet go wide, it's six squats. Once you've done six squats, 
the best of all of them. <laughs> I'm saying that sarcastically. We got five burpees. Five. It's only five, but they add up, man. Every round, you're just adding and adding. The best part. All right, guys, four curls. Once you get four curls, it's three deadlifts per side, single leg deadlift. Focus on a point out in front of you. We'll help you balance a little bit better than staring at your shoe. Once you guys get three aside, two snatches, dip and drive all the way up overhead. And then weight down, one inch worm push up. All right, Whew. so that's coming down guys, we got 10 days, 10 days in, we got two days to go, two days before we do the full gamut. Okay, 11, the last two of our days are, are down on the mat. So 11, we're gonna do 11 sit-ups, okay? So you're down on the mat. Your knees can be either straight out in front of you or you can do it bent knee, whatever you like. You can do these as crunches if you prefer, but I challenge you to try to do it as sit-ups because we're only doing two rounds of these, this round and then our final round. So if you can, do the full round. You can either cross your hands over your chest or if you prefer to put your hands behind your head, you can. Just try not to yank on your head on your way up, right? Try to really use your core. A lot of times I, I feel like I do better if I kind of cross in front, roll it on up. Then I like to kind of reach for my shins at the very end. It kind of gives me a moment to pause there. Coming back down. It's for 11. So whenever you guys are ready, come with me. Eleven, eleven. Once you guys get your eleven, your tens were your swing. So grab that one weight, hike it back, and stand fast. Ten swings. So you're faster than me. Nine is bent over row. Eight is reverse lunges. Bent over row for nine. And then reverse lunges, eight aside. Getting closer. You're finishing up. Your seven is your push press. Your six is a goblet squat. Whoo. 
All right, seven. So feet a little narrow for the push press. Take them wider when you do the squat. And squat for six. And I'm sure you don't forget five. I don't think I can forget five burpees. Two more rounds of them. Four is your bicep curls. Grab those weights. Set those weights down. Grab that heavier weight. <laughs> Three single leg deadlifts. Two snatches. Full body. Concentrate on your form. You're getting tired at the time where you start to make mistakes. So take a moment to breathe and reset if you need it. One inch worm push up. Alrighty guys, whenever you finish this round, I want you to take a look at a watch or the clock or something, or you can just follow along with me. I'm gonna give yourself at least one full minute of rest recovery before we go into this last round. So we can end strong. Our last day of Christmas, our 12th day of fitness, I should say on the 12th day of fitness, the trainer's gonna give to you 12 mountain climbers. That's what's coming. I told you we ended on the mat. So mountain climbers, you're gonna be in plank stance, one knee in, one knee back, opposite knee in, opposite knee back. You can do this hands to a chair if you wanna modify it too. Each side is one, one, okay? So it's not one, two, three, that's too fast. It's one, one. Two, two, three, three, four, four. It's your 12th day, so we go all the way up to 12. Once you reach that 12, holding that plank position, shoulders over your wrist the whole time, butt down. Flip it on around. Your sit ups are number 11. All right. I've been just over a minute here, so I'm going to get after it. If you need another breather, don't worry. Take your time. We're all going to meet at the end. But mountain climbers in that nice tight plank position, hips are down, drive that knee in and switch. If you're going a little slower, that's okay too. Just reminding you what's on deck. You've got those 11, sit up. If you're following along with me or if you're catching up, that's fine. So mountain climbers, sit up. Remember your number 10 is swing. So you're gonna come to standing position. Peel your way off the mat. We've got work to do. We're not there yet. We're in the last round, but we're not finished. 10 swings.
whole body movements. A lot of these, a lot of these ones I threw in here, they're total body movements. So this is meant to get you winded. Nine bent over rows, knees are unlocked, flat back, drive those elbows back, pinch your shoulder blades together. We're nine. Your eights are your reverse lunges. I'm just calling out the stuff, but it's okay wherever you're at in the series. Eight each side on these lunges. All right, once you guys get eight and eight, seven is your push press. Remember, it's okay to be a little behind. Push press and squats. We got seven push press, six squats, last one. Six squats. Oh man, oh man, burpees are number five, our golden rings here. Last one. Whew. Once you get those five, catch your breath. <laughs> Almost there, guys. Fours are our bicep curls. Whenever you're ready. We're getting close. We're almost at the end. You guys are pushing through, finishing strong. All 12 days, 12 rounds. This is an ascending circuit, not a descending one. These are one of the hardest mentally to do, <laughs> I'm losing my balance on these last ones. You gotta get me three good ones from the count. Two snatches aside. Keep that weight close. And then last, but not least, our partridge in the pear tree, our very last inchworm push-up. And once you guys have finished, take a breather. 